work quietly and follow along. At any point, click the pause button to catch up or take a break. Hi everyone, today we're going to be making a coil pot. And for our coil pot, I always like to make a base of a pinch pot, but it's a little bit narrower or shorter um, as far as height of a pinch pot. So that's what we just need to start with. But let's talk about what a coil is. A coil, I want you to think of like snake, like um, it's just a long piece of clay that is kind of rounded like a cylinder, but can be kind of stretched out. So that's called a coil. Like I said, it's known for a snake and we're gonna be making lots of these into a coil pot. And we do a coil pot by snaking and slithering it around our pot and then slowly adding on to them so our pot is really tall. And in the process of doing that, we get really cool designs. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna show you how to make a basic coil. Here is a little chunk of clay. I'm just going to pinch off a little bit. So it's about the size of a really big thumb. With your um, clay, lay it on the table and start to roll it into a ball. That's a really good way just to start so your coil will be nice and even. Okay, I have a nice ball. Now you can kind of start to smush it and I'm just putting a little bit of pressure on it, but notice what I'm doing. I'm rolling it back and forth between my fingertips to the palm of my hand. So I'm laying my clay down. I'm gonna go back and forth. Fingertip to palm. And I'm applying just a little bit of pressure. As I'm doing this, it's getting flatter and flatter and also getting longer and longer. If you feel like yours is like clunk, 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 like too much of a brick, it's not quite perfectly round. Mine isn't perfectly round. That means you're applying too much pressure in one area. So like right there's pressure, flat, flat, flat. You just need to set it up so it's really tall and push it down just a little bit to kind of round that back out. Let's go back and forth. Now I'm back on track. Okay, my coil is getting longer. So once your coil is too wide for one hand, start with another hand. Fingertips to palm, back and forth. Here we go. I'm slowly moving my hands outward as my coil is growing. Let's take a break and check out this coil. Um, I have one end that's a little smaller and one end that's a little bit thicker. Sometimes when you're doing coils, it is normal to apply more pressure on one side than the other. Or sometimes we take our hands and we are tilting them like this and rolling and we don't realize we're doing it, but our clay will show what our body is doing. You have a really good coil when it's even and it's a good snake, meaning it doesn't have a chunky side and it doesn't have too thin of a side, okay? Coils take lots of practice, so don't worry about getting it perfect uh, the first time or so. We're gonna check though for our coil pot, what's the size coil we need? I call this the pinky check. Pinky promise me you won't forget this, okay? I like take my pinky and I line it up along my coil. This is a good size coil, meaning it's not too big and it's not too thin. And I go along here, my coil, it gets a little thin, but I think I'm not gonna continue to work on this coil, otherwise it will stretch out. Okay, so that's one coil. Let's do another. Pinching off a bit of clay so it looks like a chunky, chunky thumb. Turn it and start to smush it into a ball. Rolling it around um, with your palms on the table. Here we go. And now we're gonna start to roll it from fingertip to palm back and forth, just applying a little bit of pressure. Back and forth, back and forth. Okay, if it starts to get a little too bumpy, you can set it up, not flat, up. Give a little push, just a little tap, tap down, so it's a little more rounded, and continue on. Keep going until your coil is too big for your, or too wide for your hand, and add that second hand in. Here we go, remember to even apply pressure, and slowly move out, back and forth. If you see a chunkier area, you can always go back and just do that one a little more. Let's do the pinky test. Looking pretty good. 
It's a little narrow right there. This is a good coil. All right. I'm going to make, um, you can make a few more coils. That's a really good thing to do when you're making a coil pot, just so you have enough to um, apply to your pot and you can kind of keep working. I already made three coils. I made a couple ahead of time so we can keep going for the video. To begin making a coil pot, you're gonna take a coil and I'll start with this one. Move these out of the way. We're gonna attach our coil by using a score and slip. So what you're gonna do is you're going to score all the way around the rim of your pinch pot and you're going to score the whole coil. When I'm scoring, I'm more like doing brush, brush, brush. I am not scraping because otherwise I will flatten that beautiful coil you worked so hard to make. Next, we need to apply some slip. So here's my slip container. Make sure you have a little bit of water, but also some clay and dab that on both the pinch pot and the coil. Notice I'm using my left hand or my other hand to just kind of hold that coil in place as I go up, 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 up and dab on some slip. Woo, little chunk of slip right there. Here we go. The whole coil needs to have slip. Okay, what you're gonna do next is you're gonna turn your coil and whatever is scored and slipped needs to attach to what's scored and slipped on our pinch pot. So I'm gonna start right there and making sure the part of my coil that slipped and scored is attaching to the pinch pot, okay? Now, let's talk about where you wanna place your coil. You wanna place it directly in the center of the pinch pot. This one's a little far over to the edge, so I'm just going to slide it and adjust it. Here we go. Next, what you're gonna to wanna to do is the end of your coil. For this first one, you're gonna to wanna to just smush it down a little bit. Leave it like a ramp. See how it's kinda of like a ramp? This next coil to come up and around. We have a little bit extra on this coil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to score, just drag my comb and apply a little slip. And this is already slipped and scored from before. So I'm going to add it to the next level of my coil pot. Pretty cool. You can see the coil. Now it's gonna create this really neat design. I'm just gonna do a little, little wiggle test to make sure everything is securely attached. And I'm just gonna double check that there's really no major holes. Here's where the ramp was. Whoop, pretty cool. This is the start of a basic coil pot. We're gonna start um, by adding another coil and continuing on, okay? So here's the end of my coil. I want you just to push it, make sure it's nice and flat. It has a nice flat edge. Coil number two. This is why it's nice to have some coils ready. We're going to just scrape and score our coil. And we're going to score, not pressing too hard, but I like to use another hand to support the pot as I'm moving all the way around the top of that other coil. Here we go, let's apply some slip. Now, this is the process you're gonna repeat over and over. We have this flat end on this coil and it's gonna be touching this flat end right here. So I'm making sure that's nice and flat just by tapping it. We're also gonna be attaching those two together so we need to score and we need to score this flat side. Don't forget to apply a little slip. Okay, let's apply slip now to our whole pot, dab, 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 and our coil, dab, 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 dab. Remember all the way across. Okay. Here's the process we're gonna be repeating over and over. We're gonna flip our coil. And I want you to think of two snakes that are kind of kissing. They have to touch and kind of seal. Since they're both flat on that side, they will kind of stick together nicely, also because we scored and slipped them. 
I'm taking my coil and I'm matching up the score and slip sides and laying it where I scored and slipped over the top. I did not score and slip on this coil part right here, so I need to do that. I need to score and apply some slip. And continuing building and constructing our coil pot. I'm just going to push it down a little bit, and I like to use my fingers and my quack hands to just kind of not pinch and squish, but just make sure everything is staying straight. It's going straight. It's not wobbling from side to side. You don't want to do this too much because then you will flatten and probably squish your coils. The goal of this project is to have nice, pretty coils. Let's take a look at our coil pot. Here's where we started and we went around and around. There's the ramp. Here is where we connected our two coils and we continued on. There we go. For your coil pot, you're going to repeat this same process over and over of creating a coil, scoring and slipping and attaching it. Don't forget to make sure your ends are flat because that's where the two snakes kiss. All right, there we go. Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make what I call some special coils, which are swirls and zigzags for a coil pot. Here I started a basic pinch pot for my base, and then I added some basic coils going around and around. But now I want to make this look a little more interesting. So here's how you can do it. I prepared some coils, and I'm going to first show you the spiral, or the swirl, whatever you'd like to call it. Here's how you do it. You have a coil. And I'm going to get these out of the way real quick. Here we go. You're going to score the entire coil. There you go. Now we're going to add some slip. All the way across. Do, do, do. Okay, here's how you make the spiral. You're going to take one end of your coil. Move this so you can see. I'll zoom in a little bit. You're going to take one end of your coil and you are going to start to kind of peel it up and over itself. And you're going to roll it. As you roll, you're going to want to score a little bit of the side and don't forget to add some slip and you're gonna roll just a little bit more best to keep it centered and on track here I need to score because there's nothing for this part of the coil to grip as I peel it over as you score you just might want to hang on to it so it doesn't kind of flop everywhere add a little slip and continue to roll on track. I'm using my pointer finger, my thumb, in the center. It's kind of like a little bit of a balancer. Roll, roll, roll. And then I kind of like to just keep it on track. Okay, it's getting really big. Here's what it's starting to look like. Pretty cool. You can also lay it flat if that's easier for you. Remember, we need to score around the top, wherever it's going to touch, and add some slip. And then we can roll it like this. Okay, that's a pretty big swirl we got going on here. So at any point, you can just pinch it off and attach it. If you like it smaller or bigger, that's your choice. That's how you make a basic spiral um, coil. I'm going to show you how you can attach it to your coil pot now. Wherever you want to attach it, you're going to uh, score and you're going to pick a part on the outside of the spiral and score where it's going to be touching the coil pot. Dab some slip and then all you have to do is just slightly press it on. That's how it will look right there. Okay. 
This first one might be a little wobbly from side to side, but it should pretty much stay if you add enough slip and you scored it. Once you get more on, then it'll be a lot easier to keep it upright. Let's move on now. I'm gonna show you another, or I'm sorry, I'm gonna show you the zigzag, and I absolutely love the zigzag. Here's a little bit of a shorter coil. First, what we're gonna do is we're not gonna score the whole thing for this one. We're just gonna score a little bit of it. Add slip. Okay, now we're going to fold. Instead of doing a little bit and rolling like the uh, swirl, we're gonna fold it a little bit more. Think about like two fingers worth. Fold. And now I'm gonna show it on the side. That might be a little bit easier for you to see it. We're gonna score it on the opposite side, right over here. And we're gonna score a little bit more of the coil on the bottom. Dab on some slip and fold. Oop, and this fell off, that's okay. We're gonna reattach that later once we have more. Okay, it's starting to go. Now the zigzag, I want you to think you're going back and forth, back and forth. Front side, back side. Now we're always working on the back side, applying a little bit of score and slip. Making sure you can see that nice and clearly. And then I'll zoom in a little bit so we can see that. There you go. So my clay is a little dry on the edges and that's okay. Just smooth it over. Here we go again, score. Slip. And bend. I'm only bending the same amount so it's keeping it nice and even. There we go. I'm gonna do it one more time because I want my zigzag a little longer. Score. Slip. And bend. And just apply a little bit of pressure to keep it together. There we go. I'm gonna pinch it off because that's where I want it to end. You can keep going and add, you know, make this as long and as big as you want. I'm just gonna adjust that real quick. There, hopefully you can see it a little more clear now. We'll zoom it out. And we go to apply this to our coil pot. You can apply it going this way or this way, however you'd like. Same with the spiral. I'm gonna apply it going the long way if you want this way, you would score wherever it attaches and score my coil pot. I'm going to add a little slip. And I'm also gonna retach my spiral here in just a moment. I'm going to press that on, do a little wiggle test. It's on, but we'll be really supportive if I have another, like the spiral, so it has something to lean on. So I'm gonna rescore, and it has a lot of slip on it, but I'm also gonna score wherever it is going to touch something next to it, whether that's another spiral or a zigzag, and I'm going to add more slip. I also need to score the side of the zigzag. Let's kind of turn that so you can see it. Add a little slip. Here we go. First, I'm gonna apply it to the base, and then I'm going to push it into the side. When you push it, be very careful. You do not wanna damage the awesome coils you made. The design is the most important part of this piece and this type of pottery. So once it has something to lean on, it's a little bit more sturdy. And you can see how awesome those cool designs look. And when we glaze it, they will really, really pop. So on the, we're gonna continue on and you can continue to fit more in the space. And then you're gonna finish off your pot with just a basic coil on top. All right, see you back here in a little bit. Okay, so here we have a nice coil pot. And you'll probably notice it has some holes in it. That's okay, that's part of the design and the beauty of creating coil pots. You can always fill them in, 
but um, we're gonna st um, finish up this coil pot today. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna do one last basic coil and we're gonna attach it around the very, very top to kind of give it a nice finish. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you how to do that. As you know, you're gonna score and score everything that coil is going to touch. That includes all the tops of your special coils or if you just did a regular coil, either one is fine. Add some slip. And I'm going to flip so both the slip and score sides of my coils are touching. I'm gonna go all the way around. If you have a little bit extra coil, that's fine. But you're gonna try to center it over all of them and you can even just give a little push into each of the little grooves. There you go. You don't wanna push too hard because then you'll smush your coil pot and you work so hard to get it as tall. Here my edges are a little thin so I'm just gonna start to push them together and rub them together. Um, if your coil's a little short, you just add a little more. Not a big deal and if it's a little long, you just kinda nip it off. That is how you finish off a beautiful coil pot. Just make sure your edges are nice and smooth. Awesome, thanks for watching.